Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make kimchi jjigae. Ta da! I mean, who would not like kimchi jjigae, right? <laughs> First, I got、um, two slab of pork chops with bones. <laughs> you just cut them up so that、um, it's in nice big chunks. I usually get the meat with、um, bones because when you make a stew out of it,、um, the, it really gets the flavor out. I wash them really well and put them in the pot. For kimchi jjigae, it's good to use fermented kimchi. So, this is about maybe one or two weeks old、uh, after I got it from market. I add one tablespoon of sesame oil. I stir fry them until the meat is cooked. This is in a ratio of maybe half meat and half kimchi.、Um, that's a good ratio. When meat is semi cooked, we pour the water in and we want to get it a little bit above the content, maybe half an inch above, maybe. I add two tablespoons of minced garlic. Now I cover it up and let it boil. Add two tablespoons of red pepper. This adds nice red color to kimchi jjigae. Don't worry, it's not too spicy at the end. One teaspoon of salt. Once it boils, I lower the heat to medium high and just let it simmer. I'm gonna add half of tofu to kimchi jjigae. I usually get the firm one from the market because that's、um, usually very useful and I could use it in different kinds of ways. I added the other half of the tofu to kimchi jjigae the next day when I reheated the kimchi jjigae to eat it all off. I usually put tofu a little bit early、uh, while it's cooking because I want tofu to soak up all the flavors from the stew. Cover it up and let it simmer. Once the kimchi and meat is all the way cooked, I lower the heat to low heat and add a lot of green onion. That adds really good flavor. Add some black pepper. I'm going to add one tablespoon of tuna fish sauce. This really enhances the flavor and adds the kick. This looks so good already. I'm gonna add one handful of dokko, which is a Korean sliced rice cake. It adds nice texture, but if you don't have it, you don't need to worry about it. Now, this is almost done. When I tried it, it needed a little bit more salt, so I put one teaspoon of salt. But you try it and see if you need it or not.
Thank you for watching.